Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Johnny Yan Let's Play. We continue for episode 5 from turn 40 in the winter season of 207. So, the first thing we have to do is finish our siege. We already spent three turns building three siege towers. We can take the Pyrrhic, but there's another army nearby, so we're going to be fighting this one. It's going to be fought on the walls, and hopefully we'll do well here. The quality of our infantry are not great, so... There could be some issues. And our generals don't have any good clears on enemy infantry. I think the play here is that we hide our infantry. <laughs> There's no force. Okay, there's a patch here. I mean, it makes sense. If you're building a city with walls, you would cut the trees ahead of time before the enemy comes and siege your city. You don't want anything obscuring your view from the wall. Alright, the whole idea is we're going to show our generals on the opposite end so that we can buy time for our units to capture the wall and the towers on the wall so that we may use our siege towers. So what we're going to do is pop these guys in. Actually, let's pick some healthier guys. 236, 239, 239, uh, but he's not an axe user, kick him out. We have a 240 right here. Right, so they're going to be our three group that come claims the wall. I think we'll try to capture this corner here, this tower, actually no, let's do one side. I just want to avoid the interior tower, which might be a bit tricky. Then this side probably be better. I mean, any side, it's hard to avoid these. Because first to capture this, we're kind of going to get ourselves into that zone. And we also want to capture this. And then we're leading it to... Actually, this works because of the entrances to the center. We're going to send these three here. Then we're going to empty them out. First group, actually let's call them, yeah, let's call them one, call them eight, put them on the side. Then we have second batch. Basically we'll have to use the tower to all eventually sneak in. Okay. I'm gonna send our son back over because he does have a ability that can actually boost our units. Meanwhile, we'll stay here and be visible and just be a distraction. Very rarely have we mounted a siege like this, but uh, this should be interesting. They're going to start climbing the stairs. Actually, animation. We have to file in to each of the levels. It takes a while to load these. Uh, 
Uh, he's gonna get shot. Go this way. Loaded. See, this is another thing about unit size. Because we're playing one uh, 240, the towers don't expand in size. So a unit doesn't fit inside the entire thing. There's going to be a unit outside that gets shot. And if you're playing on a lower unit size, then all your units are going to fit. So it's just, it's not balanced very well. Actually, we're going to go here. We're going to go here. We're going to ignore this tower for now. This, this would be our door, these two right here. That way we can kind of stay away from this range as much as possible. Now we're going to keep most of their units over here. Just by having our two generals. They're dying from the shots. Now, because the shots are limited, they can only shoot at so many of us. We can actually keep going. That will minimize our damage for a bit. Poor guy's dying. Wait, what is this? Oh, his banner. The flag. We're here. Take this position, capture that tower. You guys take this position. Actually, maybe this position. Fight these. Okay, we capture that. Now go here, and then we'll exit out and fight them there. Start climbing. Not empty yet. Maybe here? Or get going. Time to give them a boost. Five get going as well. As our six, six get behind. We have the raider trait, so when we're idle, we do burn the town. Give them a boost. Charge.
Yeah, these towers and archers are going to be a big problem. Maybe they can flank over here. Can I get you guys to come over here? Waiting for the last couple guys to get over there. Yeah, we're just standing here getting shot by the enemy. Hmm. Unfortunate. Once we get to those towers, it's going to become very difficult for us. This is our gatehouse. I'm going to go in and try to kill their generals. We bounce back. Oh, they have a roar. Alright, kill him. I'm gonna use the door. Alright, don't chase that way. Go fight over here. Alright, I'm gonna try to send this guy over here to see if they can capture that. And then this guy over here. Gonna need more unit. Another one to fight this guy off. See if we can deal with Zhang He. Alright, let's, let's kill their general. Gonna be unbreakable anyways. Keep piling in. They're gonna run out of ammo. Alright, we killed uh, Yuan Shang. Let's kill Zhang He. Alright, come out, come out. Alright, we finally got that one. We just need to catch this tower and then this front would be a lot easier. Kill that. We'll ignore this group. I don't think we have the energy to take that fight. Alright. Zhang He finally got beat by enough of our infantry. Alright, 
Alright, we got the towers. Let's leave them alone. One of you go here, the rest of you go here. He can't come back in. That door is closed. We'll ignore him for now. He can use the other door if he wants, but looks like he's routing. Okay, we're getting on this plaza. Let's go. And captures and then she can come in. She's gonna be hidden, she'll be fine. There's our son leading the way. Take the center plaza. Ignore the archers. These are all barricaded. I can't get there. Alright, we're pretty much useless. We'll stay put. Take out Liu Bei's wife. Alright, spear, fight the cavalry for us. Axe, fight the spear units. I think it's army lost time for them. Costly. Very costly. This was hard to take. Troops that went here were basically a mistake. This corner was quite easy to take. Approaching those towers was very difficult, but once we did get it, it became a lot easier. Close victory, a little better than Pyrrhic, so we did better than Delegate, maybe a slightly higher capture rate for the generals. Uh, we don't need him. I'm gonna just get the money. This is a pretty high ranking. It's a small city. It's rank four. I'm just trying to justify getting a bit more income and loot here. Drop it to three. We'll have to rebuild it. It'll cost us more. So I guess we'll just occupy. It's also gone through a siege. Ah. It left us a tier 3 industry building. That's actually key. I don't need this one. We'll build our tribute building, the tribute hall. We'll keep this for food. And we do have a lot of loot. So we're going to be... Do they have a siege weapon? They don't. Okay, so they can't attack the settlement. We can do this. And they can't actually fight us. Wait, why is their movement so low? Not gonna complain. It's working in our favor. We don't really have any generals, and that is okay. We'll rest up a bit. We'll probably snatch up both of these farms just to reduce his food supplies even more. He's gonna be down to one fishing port supplying these three. Very high level settlement. Maybe it'll force him to downgrade because I don't want to manage a settlement that big either. We need to find them loot, we need to find them another general, and then we'll carry on from there. Xinping is returning. The low loot level is killing him. I'll give you four points here. That's really all we could do. We have Basically got, I think, 6,500 from that one battle, from post-battle loot. That's our economy. This building here is going to be our lifeblood.
and we're going to upgrade it to the max pretty much everywhere we have it. And then the extra money. Let's get everything at least to a small city build first. Sounds good. He doesn't have cash on him. Nor does he have items. It's very sad. Oh, join his coalition or form a coalition with him. See, this is better than becoming his vassal, but he's asking a lot. Gold items. Three, four gold items. Plus paying him cash. It's a minus 20 idea. I don't think so, buddy. Um... I can help you fight. I can help Sun Tzu fight you. I think that's probably what's going to happen. It's going to be very annoying dealing with the schemes and faction council events, but I don't think that's preventable. Li Shu has been wiped. Okay. Lady Wu? She was in Li Shu's faction. She got married over. Sun Tzu married his widowed mother over to Li Shu. And then got wiped by Cao Cao. So she's not a spy. Do you happen to carry any of the good items you have? Not quite, but... Uh, I think that's a worthy investment. The faction wipe recruits. It's safe. We need to find her... What's the set with? This doesn't hover. Oh, it's frozen. Oh, no. Alrighty. So we had our third crash in five episodes now. And this one wasn't even on battle screen, just on the items. Was trying to check out what the set is combined with. The ruler of Jiangdong looks like a seal. Minus 25% recruitment upkeep cost for mercenary retinues. She will be great. Except we don't have mercenary retinues. Sun Tzu, big loss for him. Uh, regardless, um, we're gonna snatch her up. She has some decent faction-wide bonus on this armor and on her background. She's worth about 10% corruption reduction just alone, plus six points of morale. If we can get her into a position of power, which we should be able to. So she's just gonna hang out, maybe be a, a Simon character for us. She can help us with peasantry income. Hmm. Not a very big deal for us. Maybe we can add her into an army? She did not bring anything unique from the south. It's a little sad. We're going to get rid of these units. Now, technically, we can't really recruit spear guards ourselves. So these are... Uh, we, we can get it from a reform tree. A few. Not a lot. These are technically precious. Yeah, we might keep them. We're going to do just our standard Black Mountain Marauders for the rest. Sounds good. We're going to let them heal up before going after them again. Like I said, we're probably not going to face off against them first. They can't take the settlement in one turn because they don't have a siege weapon. So we have the free well, freedom to go back and save it if they do get siege. In the meantime, we can take some of these farms for ourselves. Now it pays to look at the settlement level. This feels like a level three settlement. I think once you hit four, you do get the triple stack, the double, the, the full stack of units, uh, which means we shouldn't really use this. We don't want to reduce level here. Even if it means for more loot and better healing. Actually, we'll rebuild it. But if you ever notice a double stack where it sees rank 3 drop to 2, if it's rank 4 or 5, 
drop it because bandits can only max out to four uh, to three. So anything above will automatically go back to three. You might as well get paid for going back. Ooh, how? Just randomly we get steel dual Z. We can upgrade our wife. Ah, uh -huh. Ulai, this is Dian Wei's weapon. This is Dian Wei's historical weapon. We do, uh, Dian Wei's already dead in the 200 start. Maybe I should use it. Yeah, let's let's use it. I know we don't upgrade our wife's weapon because we are a very strange champion that can use dual wielding weapons and she's stuck as a sentinel who can't. But um Yeah, let's do this. That way our son has fatigue immunity and we also have fatigue immunity. This is good. All right, aside from that, we'll continue to take more land. Lady Wool's ready, unhappy. Let's give her... It's because she went to army with low loot. It's, it's problematic. I think we'd rather have her have the 10% extra ammo from the crossbow. It's the same damage or similar damage. I don't have any other means to make her happy. So I forgive her title. That is also something I'm not really going for. I can make her underling. It would reduce the cost. It's like, why not? If we have the position 8% construction cost discount, why shouldn't we use it? Let's go to Leldon, where there's still a bit more upgrade needed to be done. All right, that's all the money we can afford. Totally fine. He is still preparing to return. Make up your mind and come back. <laughs> Xingping of two tongues. Uh, the reason is he's supposed to go talk to Cao Cao and help out Yuan Tan. But then he decided to stay with Cao Cao. Kind of backstabbing. Kind of two-faced character. Uh, went on to have a great career with Cao Cao though. Ah, he wants peace now. No. We're gonna wipe him out. There can only be one king in the north. Oh, they have reached emperor status. Uh, we're going to improve our relationship with Lady Wu. Because she, if she forms a friendship with the faction leader, there's a small satisfaction boost you get. He's really wealthy. 7k a turn? He's also in the north now. He has a piece of Hedong, which we would want in the future. Maybe we can trade with him. Alright, so the situation is Cao Cao's First one to hit Kingdom. He hit it naturally with his prestige. Not surprised, he has a lot of land. And we're gonna clean up Yuan Shao first, then probably work on Yuan Tan or Gao Gan. And then we're gonna turn on Cao Cao. Mm. 
that army disappeared. Not a good sign. All right, we cannot reach there in one turn. The army did not come here. Looks like we don't need to lose a huge chunk of our loot to get replenishment for the last bit. We're going to be pretty close and we have time to rest after that fight. Not going to be a big issue. We're going to convert these as quickly as possible. That's where we get our prestige points. Now there's no real benefit of moving our capital back to Yemen. It's not a very good settlement. It costs more because we tiered up. And when we do tier up again, it's going to cost even more. I feel like if anything, any capital location in the north is the same thing for us because we're going to be relying on the ports to trade with the rest of the other factions. Yeah, so it's not going to matter. We're not going to move them. We're going to take the mustering bonus, let them heal up a little bit, let the rest of the army heal up a little bit, stack up some loot again. And then move on and attack these yellow turbans, which is no rush. He's back, but we're poor and there's also no candidates available. Yeah, there's just not much we can do. I hope Taltal -Tal declares war on someone that we can attack. Yeah, this is an interesting setup where we team up with Sun Ce to basically fight Cao Cao. But I don't think we need to lock ourselves into a coalition of sorts. I think we can get a mercenary contract first and see how that goes. Sima Yi joins Cao Cao. We're in 2 on 8. Also level 3. So we'll just occupy. Convert it to max. It's 4% per level increase, which I think is worth it. When are we going to get our spies? Next turn. Okay. We'll have three spies. Currently, there's just no one unhappy in whichever faction there are. We're going to pop out here. I'm going to lose some of the loot. Not really meant to increase income or to increase replenishment, but just so that we move farther next turn and maybe we can take on this level six. They downgraded. They ran out of food. Uh, Nanpi also went from five, I believe, down to four. So we are choking them out slowly. Administrator level up. We can, I mean, public water is actually not good for us. Let's go for this. Xingping came back with two items. I don't think we're going to keep him. He's unbreakable, which is lovely, but aside from that, not really special. Maybe he can... Oh, it's probably not worth the 800. Even though we are dirt poor. We need to fight more battles. Our post-battle loot is our main income, so we need to fight these bigger fights. Non-aggression, it's not very expensive. It's not very expensive. He is the vassal of whom? Ah, Sun Ce. He's very happy to be a vassal of Sun Ce. Interesting. 
Might as well give him one food and we sign this. Looks like we're probably going to be on the side of Sun Ce. And we're going to have to deal with Cao Cao. It's not very rich. I think we'll just take this easy deal here. Got our spies, but there is no one active. Bu Lian Shi, Sun Quan's concubine. Coming from Cao Cao? Okay, of course. He's 18. Just came of age. Now, any chance you are a sentinel bandit? You're not. Okay. So I feel like the only way we can get default sentinel characters is through the marriage. We just have not been offered any. Very well could be a stack there, but looking at our army strength, we should start sieging them. I'm gonna go with sapping this time. They'll come out and fight us in between the turns and we'll give them a fight. For once, Yuan Shao is out of spies. I feel like next turn, we pop them out, we do one turn of the share of the spoils, and then we can move on with this army and take Taiyuan. What do we want next? Anything interesting over here? Not really. Four points of satisfaction. Additional assignment. Cheaper spies, one more spy. So if we want more spies, we want to come over here. The path is so-so. Extra cover gain for the spies. I think we'll do that first. It's also closer. This might put us over Yep, we we'll hit the next rank, finally. Next turn, and we're just a bit poor across the board. This is only a 25 banditry increase. I, I just don't see the need. The garrison also don't see the need right now with how strong we are in these positions. I think this is Yuan Shao's only army. We'll face off against them during the end turn. I assume they'll come out. It'd be weird if they don't. Because they're also suffering attrition right away. So if they don't fight us, they're only going to get weaker. Oh, wait, they have a second stack. Never mind. That is not a fight we shall entertain. I mean, unit quality? Uh, they have too many. They have too many good stuff. Warrior of Yeh is going to be hard to clear, mainly the number of Sunu Cataphract. We're going to have to catch one of them outside of their settlement. But they did take attrition from that turn. If they continue to take attrition every turn because of lack of supply, which I, I think is from lack of food, I can go in and just hit them every turn. The superstition trade is killing us. Alright, so let's see. The bonuses are extra loot in enemy territory. Absolutely necessary. 
50% additional post battle loot, 50% income from looting settlements, minus 20%. So let's shift Yen out into Master of Arms. Let's shift Lady Wu into this position. I mean, Lady Jen's going to be a better administrator, but right now we don't need her to do that. She's a family member. So her salary is actually free, I think. Still nobody. We do get an additional spy. Same amount of trade. One extra assignment, one extra underling. They did take attrition damage. I'm going to keep harassing them like this. They can keep coming back. They're still ranking this up, but lowering this. Ooh, Numpy's actually low enough that we can strike it right away. Maybe we can try to go after it next turn. Yeah, this should heal us up nicely. And we can finally go after the yellow turbans. They're in the south, Shanyue. They don't make much, but we can get whatever we can take. Wangzu. Huh, bandits with the, the northern bandits with the southern bandits. Could make sense, but uh, we don't need that. Let's upgrade some buildings. These come first. All right, let's go. All right, so that's not going to work, but we can bypass them and go for Nampi. Neither of them have siege weapons. No one's defending here. Um. Let's heal the garrison first. I don't think the army took much damage at all. I'm going to pop out. I don't think we need this. It's a lovely building. I guess we'll keep it for now. No reason to cancel it. I'm not going to click that. There's a good chance they come and try to retake this from us. I'm going to actually burn that down. And maybe rush it to get the cash. We'll queue that up. Essentially free. We're going to have to fight this one. There's a lot of yellow turbans inside. 5,000 plus? There's no walls, and I want to avoid those interior towers, so I think we'll probably come to this side, or a side without that many trees. 
There's still two interior towers here, so maybe this side, yeah, this side would be the best, I think. We also have slightly higher ground. No flaming shot, just here to do as much damage as we can. This will be our front line. Eh, probably not worried about enemy range. We do have a roar, which is very useful. Angry scolding. A debuff, and also slows the enemy. We can get duels. Let's do it. Ooh, we got really lucky with the accuracy there. One volley, take out a tower? We should be able to kill two of them quite easily. That was quick. See, this is the accuracy I was expecting. Because we fired off four volleys and we're not destroying it yet. We got it. They have range units. He's going to die real fast, too. Keep cheering. That's right. The wavering unit is probably his retinue. Death of a general. Yep, general recently died. She is not going to want to duel us, but maybe we can go kill her. Going to dismount. Try to get more attack speed. She's running away. Now's losing morale here. We need some help. There we go. We 
decimated this group. Quelt. Break formation reset. We took heavy losses too. Especially with the archer still shooting at us. This is not going to be an easy fight with so many yellow turbans inside. Try to absorb a lot of the enemy rain shots with our spear units. Who has a raider trait? We're gonna go burn the town. They have enough armor that I don't think the peasant archers actually would hurt them. Alright, start throwing out your torches. Once they lose, once they become idle, they should start burning the town. Yes? Any time now. No? Feels like they should be doing it, but they're not. Oh well. Let's use them for what they're meant to be used for. I'm gonna go roar. They're running out of ammo soon. I'm going to break through over here. Hunt that down. Just block them from coming back. Can't really help them. Kind of stuck in this corridor for now. Once we do break through on this side, it'll become a lot easier. I will debuff them. 
齐勇气，加快脚步，加速前进，冲啊！进行厮杀，杀呀！注意，顽强不屈，杀敌军，进攻，做好准备，准备好了。All right, we have them. At least we have the first level taken out. Yep, I'm gonna chain this entire part. Then we gotta go through the towers, which is a little bit more complicated. They don't have much ammo left. I'm gonna try to capture some of these towers for us. There's just too, too many bodies to get through. Like, they're already routed, but we can't squeeze through them yet. Alright, we captured both of these. I know she's a strategist, so let's use the bow that we gave her. Good, 2.5, two, 3k per hit. I'll take that. Alright, can we please get to this side? All right, they're sending units to her. Gotta snipe that. All right, messy, but uh, this is the only fight they need to do on this side, so it's not too bad. We finally have Taiyuan. This will become one of our more lucrative commanderies. Now Cao Cao is our neighbor. We can grab this as well. Cost us 8,000 again to colonize. We'll think about it because we don't really have to grab that yet. We can wait till we chase out Cao Cao. It's strange seeing Liu Zhang so far over here. We'll take their other food supply away and see how they maintain these settlements. As you can see, this already dropped to level 3. Which means we can start the fight against them automatically. Now, it's not beneficial because the problem here is now there's more interior towers for us to deal with. 
Could be tricky. If we can take this and then quickly come back, lay an ambush here, that might benefit us. We'll see how we can best defeat the last two armies here without wasting too much of our resources. But essentially, Renshaw is done. Once we clean that up, we're probably going to work on Yuantan. Take the Qing province for ourselves, And then we can team up with the Duchy of Wu, which has Liu Bei under him. So this is sort of the Tribi Alliance of sorts. We can join in and push back the only kingdom on the map in Cao Cao and beat him down. We'll steal his land in the north first. So maybe we'll keep Yuantan as a buffer. Maybe the moment we finish off Yuan Shao, we can start attacking Cao Cao. Take control of the north. Yuan Tan's weak. We don't have to take him first. We can take him later. And once we consolidate the north, and potentially the northwest as well, then we'll contend with the central plains. And then ultimately backstab them as well. So that's the goal. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. See you all next time. Bye!